sleep well? Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment anytime. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. I kinda like this guy, uh, Lisa and me. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine. Since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim don't suit your palate? I'll call that a positive. Who goes there? Oh, I'm pretty sure you were expecting me. I can't even call that a fight. Well, that was... Wait, there's a chest around here. The townspeople are gone. I was right. It's a trap. You're here. You're the demon that escaped the island? What if I am? You hurt my dear Oscar. You will pay for that. Slowly. Come and face me then, exorcist! I am honor bound to aid you. This is where left arm! Deception! Simple for you. Don't hold back! Crush them now! Hang in there, Velvet! You too. 
Admire your endurance, but you will regret this soon enough. Number two. You can't finish your own work, coward. I won't fall for your taunts. That arm of yours is too dangerous. Besides, to dispose of demon filth, one ought to use an appropriate tool. Well, I've got tools of my own. Tools of flamestone, sulfur, and oil. Oh boy. Those will explode. What? Our stores of flamestone! Oh boy. Rokuro! I'm with you! Hey! Aren't you forgetting someone? No, no one. What are you all doing? After them! Lady Teresa! The ships! The port! It's all on fire! <laughs> Orderlies! Put out the fires at once! Move it! We're ready to set sail! No, he's a man! He was my favorite. I won't let you escape! Never! Deception! I'm a demon. Spare me your sermons. Then you can pay with your life! <laughs> Exorcist Praetor Teresa, I give you this order. Do it, number two. The kid's gonna blow himself up. To think you were 
a demon! The crybaby exorcist? I wasn't trying! Two praetors. Not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> <laughs> Why would they do such a thing to us? We're finished! Helaviz is no more! Curse you. Curse you. Such ghastly demons. The Abbey, no. Lord Artorius himself must be informed. He's alive and smiling. Well, that turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra? Yeah, that was <laughs> curious because you have in, in the demon hand, not in the human. Hmm. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, because this was a thing, because we hold him with the demon hand, like, holding him, and out of nowhere we hold him in the other hand, kind of win. Okay, save, because save is the... Uh... And now we're sending the seven seas, or oh, eleven? Okay. So, yeah, I guess... Wait, where is... Okay. Oh, now I have a uh, water move. So I guess I can change that now. I guess I have now set up for the elements. I don't know how to do with this. But uh, where do the work will go? Well, I master this now, so I'm just gonna keep it until... And I master it. Wait. Hey buddies. You seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Hey, buddy. Our destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way... I didn't like Jack Sparrow managed to sell the sea with a boat like with only two people himself included. Eh? Oh hey. Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. 
You certainly didn't leave them much of a port, though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Moggy Lou's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel! I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. You can do it, but just no money has to look. Is there like a little city down here? Hey, buddy. <sighs> Velvet! How's our heading? <sighs> this is so hard to read. Actually, you're holding it wrong. It's built to function even if the ship is rolling. The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. Wanna hold it? Uh, if that's an order... I'm asking you what you want. So you're... Ordering me to answer? <sighs> right, right. You Malakim would destroy yourselves as long as it was an order, wouldn't you? That is our purpose. You really are tools. In that case, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Aww. What now? <gasps> Pirates! That flag. It's got to be Ivory's pirate crew. They've got a bead on us, folks. And in case you hadn't noticed, we aren't really equipped for sea combat. To land, then. We can fight them there. Look at that. They really are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. And who's stopping us to fight you uh, either anyway? It'll be me. A Moloch? No. I'm the Reaper. Deception! What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword, twin blades, and paper. No pendulum that I can see. How's that? You passed the test. Join us. Well, 
Aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortigern. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the Kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress... If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. So what, we're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate, y you can't go alone. We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. Oh, boy, this was so tough. 